Fall classes at Eastern Washington University will begin September 24th. Most courses will be offered online, while face-to-face -face instruction will be allowed for only certain classes. Still, some students have chosen to return to campus. We really left it up to the students. We didn't actively discourage, but we didn't actively um, encourage. We just said it's available if it's necessary. For those who need housing, we, we have housing available. Eastern normally has about 1,800 students living on its campus, but this year it's expecting to house just under 600. That's according to Vice President of Student Affairs Robert Sauters. He says students returning to campus will notice a few changes. Residence halls will have only single occupancy rooms, and the university will provide masks to any students who come onto campus. If you're living on campus with us, you will be going through a COVID-19 education course um, so that we can explain what the expectations are, um, what public health um, what, what public health expectations we have. And, and what you can do to keep yourself and, and your community safe. He says it's also identified an isolation residence hall on campus if needed. Does Eastern have a plan in place if an outbreak does occur on campus or within that college student age group? So we have a campus response team that has been working with Spokane Regional Health District and we have a, a staff member who is um, responsible for leading contact tracing. Will the university be requiring students to test for COVID at any capacity or for any reason? There's, there's no requirement. A designated testing facility on campus has not yet been determined, but Sauter says Eastern is working with health provider partners in the area to set it up. As for discipline, Sauter says Eastern will take an education first approach with students who violate gathering restrictions. If violations continue, students will go through the student conduct process. Amanda Rowley, CREM 2 News.